Okay, folks, gonna pick up here. Who am I talking to? How are y'all? Just tired. You said they were four dollars each. Yes. Okay. There's eight bucks. Thank you. Thank y'all have a great day. Cha-ching. Not bad. On to the next. Hey man. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Got everything there? Yep. Alrighty. It's got the controller, the the wires are like they're different. They aren't all bunched together, they're yeah. like separate. But it's got the game in there. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah that's you showed me a word last night. Yeah, like I said, the only thing I, I have is my Xbox. Yeah. And I use that for Netflix, <laughs> Netflix and Hulu, Hulu and that's it. And like the rest of it I this has been sitting there collecting right. dust for I'm gonna use your tailgate here real quick. Make sure my money don't fly around. There's 15. Alrighty, sir. Thank you. Yep. There you go. Fantastic. All right, man. Hey, have All a good right. one. Thank All you. If I find anything else, I'll let you know because I come across some crazy stuff sometimes. Like oh, yeah? Crazy. Did you take nine on it? Yeah. All right, there's nine. Thank you. Did you do five on it? Yeah, I did five. Okay. The only thing is missing the four. Oh, yeah. Five. You have change? Yeah, <laughs> Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Did you do did you do four for the two? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I think I got four one dollar bills. Awesome, 
You don't have any uh, older stuff, do you? Like any Nintendo? Nah. GameCube, Wii, or anything like that? No, I Okay. One, two, three, and four. All right, there you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Thank have you. a good sale. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh man, I wish you had a whole box full of them. Yeah. <laughs> but there you are, there's yeah, 10. I know I do have uh, at least two more of those and some games. I'm not sure how many games. Okay. Um, Okay, YouTube, so this is everything that I picked up throughout the week. Not a whole lot, but you always have to be grateful for everything that you can find and everything that you are able to add to your collection for free. That is the name of the game, building the collection for as cheap as possible, if not absolutely free. So we will start at the back and... At a yard sale today, picked up the NES system. It was in really good condition. Um, power pack, RF cable, and uh, no controllers, no games. However, the lady that I got this from said that she had two more of these systems and a ton of games upstairs in her house. She's got my contact information. This is actually the second week in a row that I've uh, spoken to her. And um, so she's got all my contact information and told me she would be hitting me up soon. Um, got this for 10 bucks. That's a no-brainer. I had extra controllers. I had an extra zapper. had extra games to bundle it with. So I have already got that listed and have some interested buyers. Uh, picked up the PlayStation 2 Slim for 15 bucks. Came with the controller right there, the power pack, AV cables everything necessary works great uh, bundled that with some games that I picked up along the way for a dollar each and uh, I've got that listed as well nine dollars for this Wii system um, the the flaps on top have broken off but that is okay it still works fantastic and it came with all of its hookups um, no controllers that's okay I always have extra controllers on hand and I always have extra uh, Wii games to bundle it with. So I've got that listed as well. First time I've ever found the uh, Darth Vader collector's case for the old Kenner toys. Found this for a dollar at a yard sale. These uh, go for around $20 on eBay. Uh, about $10 to $12 plus shipping. So they're not extremely valuable. But it's just cool to come across them every once in a while. And I've seen them before. I've just never found one at a yard sale before. So pretty cool. Went ahead and picked that up. Um, then picked up a copy of Wii Sports. For some reason, I did not have this already logged into my database. And I thought that I did not have it. However, I do. I uh, picked it up from the pawn shop for 2 bucks. That's okay. I will bundle it with... Uh, some more N64 games that I already have duplicate uh, duplicates of uh, with a system later on in the year when I start hitting up uh, N64 consoles. I found a ton last year and I have not found any so far this year but I am bound to run across one or two sooner or later. 
Um, but guy at the pawn shop gave me this version of Pokemon. And what's interesting about this is that I've never seen the NTSC Spanish version of Pokemon until now. When you load this up, everything is in Spanish. There are no language settings uh, on these games. Uh, these came in English, Spanish, and I believe like uh, French Canadian. Uh, there was a French Canadian version. Could be wrong on that. Correct me if I am wrong. Um, but the Spanish version, from what I have been told, uh, was very, uh, very prominent in the Southern California region and in Mexico. And it's just not as common as the English version that you come across all the time. There is a new save battery in this uh, cartridge. It works great, saves great. However, it's just all in Spanish, which is really kind of cool to me. Uh, something I don't come across every day. Found um, Runbo at Walmart on clearance for $3. It was a game I did not have for the Wii U, so that was a no-brainer, brand new for 3 bucks. I've been told it's a decent little platformer. Um, came across uh, this Jane's Advanced Strike Fighters with the 360 controller at a yard sale, uh, $4 for the two. Uh, there was a $5 tag on this. She wanted a dollar for her games. I offered four bucks. She took it. And uh, when it comes to video games, probably the find of the week um, was a bundle that I got uh, from a guy. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll save that for, for last. But also at the pawn shop, I found Ace Combat 7, which is pretty, um, pretty still up there in price. Around the $40 to $40 plus price. Uh, Yakuza 3, which is very uncommon for the PlayStation 3 and still fetches $40 or more complete. WW2K17 is the last year uh, for the WW uh, wrestling games on the PlayStation 3, so that still fetches $15 to $20. Bucks. And the Street Fighter uh, Tech and Special Edition. This actually came in a uh, in a special edition uh, package, where as you can see, it's not for resale, and there was uh, some other things bundled with that package. But the find of the week, video game wise, was uh, this guy was selling some PS3 games for four dollars each. He had a disc only copy of NCAA Football 14, and uh, he had Mass Effect 3, which is a game I did not have. And so $8 for the two. I have already sold NCAA Football 14. It literally sold within three to four minutes of me listing it. And uh, I believe I got $46.99 for it. Uh, $46 or $47. Bucks. I did pick up some Blu-rays and DVDs. Figured I'd just go ahead and show these since uh, some of them were part of the bundle deal with that Tony Hawk. Uh, but picked up Deadpool 2 for uh, on Blu-ray, The Meg on Blu-ray, Cabin Fever, Patient Zero, the six-film collection on Blu-ray of Alien, Wrong Turn 5, Bloodlines, and Masters of the Universe. That was pretty, uh, pretty cool to find that. However, it's not the original case. It is a uh, reprinted cover art. That's okay. It was a, a movie I did not have and I intend on keeping. And uh, that's one of Dolph Lundgren's better movies there. I enjoyed that movie. Um, but the find of the week for DVDs is The Legend of Boggy Creek. Uh, this is based on a true story. And this is out of print and can fetch $15 to $20 uh, just for, the, for this movie alone off of eBay. So found that for a dollar at the pawn shop, got that listed. It will help recoup some of the money that I spent along the week. Um, also found this really nice PlayStation 4 controller. It does need a little bit of cleaning up. The joystick has a little bit of smudge on it, but I charged it. I linked it up to my PlayStation 4. Everything works great. Got that at the pawn, at, not the pawn shop, at a yard sale for $5. But there you have it, folks. 
not as fantastic as last week's haul but once again you got to be grateful for everything that you can find and for everything that you're allowed uh, that you're able to add into your collection i'll be adding uh, a few titles such as ace combat 7 runbo mass effect 3 and uh pretty much every uh, except for the uh the blu-rays pretty much everything else is for resale but there you have it folks i hope you've enjoyed your week hope you've enjoyed the content if you have go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you've not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you receive notifications every single time i upload new content once again hope you've had a fantastic week i know i have I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.